Hey everybody, it's Hacker Inc. Um, yeah, um, I'm uploading the video right now. See, it's uploading. See? Hang on. It's uploading, yay! Anyways, um, I'm going to just give y'all a quick tip on how to get a graphical user interface in Cosmos. Now, I know you're going to be upset with this, but the one I found is licensed under the GPL. It's actually got the GPL license inside of it, meaning that there is no loophole. You cannot escape. If you use any code from that graphical user interface, anything, even a, just a VGA dot set pixel, which is just set one tiny pixel on the screen, and you know how many pixels there are on your computer monitor, right? There's thousands. Well... <laughs> Sorry to say this, but you gotta release it as you gotta release the graphical user interface as open source. Um, even if you migrate the code to a new code file, you still gotta release that code file under open source. So here's how you do it: you get the graphical user interface, you keep it in a separate code, you keep like the drawing library and and the desktop in a separate code file. And when you modify that, you post, you upload um, source code, and you give everyone a link on any videos you do. That way you're in, that way you're like open source. Nobody can really steal your code because everyone knows that your code is your own. And you get to keep all your other code, like your virtual file system, your files, your programs, your management, you know, memory management, which is important because so far, dude is the only... Dude and Aos are the only ones with memory management, um, and other ones just freeze up. Um, instead, like, after a minute, most graphical user interfaces freeze up unless you have memory management, and it's really hard to do that. Because <sighs> you have to modify the kernel. Anyways, um, yeah, so... I'm just playing with my hair, sorry. Um, go to blondieos.codeplex.com and right now it's not uploaded yet, but I'll upload a very simple graphical user interface packaged with Blondie OS that you can use in your own operating system. Now if you put any code in the code files or um, that come with Blondie or if you put any Blondie code in a separate code file you need to release that code files open source. So keep your own stuff out of the code files and keep that stuff out of your code files. Okay? This has been Hacker Inc. and you're welcome.